Good. How are you doing today? Good. Interesting morning. How was the, do you mind telling folks how the night went? We, it's been a couple hours since we checked in. Yeah, yeah, night went well. Um, slept pretty good. Uh, you know, lots of folks um, got a chance to sleep and took turns keeping an eye out. And uh, we're all pretty much awake now and waiting on, actually there's coffee here for us now. So we're just waiting to see. Did you stay the night out here with them last night? I did. Uh, after things kind of didn't happen last night, were you yeah. expecting this to come down in the morning? Or? Um, yeah, I mean, I definitely expected them to be down this morning. Um, I'm a little bit surprised that, uh, yeah, here. I'm a little bit surprised that uh, they don't seem to be making eye contact with any of us who slept here uh, outside of the tents. Um, and they don't seem thus far to have made any arrests. Uh, it seems like maybe what they're doing is just passing out citations. Uh, but we'll have to, I think, you know, once they have left the area, we'll have to regroup and see, um, you know, what, what happened with folks and go from there. It's and I noticed fun. some of the tents were actually empty as they started kind of to dismantle mm -hmm. them. So do you know how many people actually ended up sleeping here last night by chance? Um, rough estimate, maybe just, just over 20. Okay. It's pretty calm so far, Shannon. What is your plan particularly? What are you going to do this morning? Are you staying? Are you I'm staying. I'm staying. I'm staying until the last person decides they want to go. That's my commitment. As long as folks want to stay here, I'll be here with them. Um, there is a meeting I know, a work group meeting this morning, and so I guess for those of us who are, I mean, if we're all still here when this is over, then we'll head on over to the work group meeting. Have you guys talked about how to interact with police this morning? I mean, aside from being, you know, uh, peaceful, nonviolent, you know, going with officers if they're making arrests. Um, with no issues. We've talked about that and everybody's been pretty well prepared for that. Um, it's a little bit, you know, uh, surprising to see that it doesn't look like anybody is actually going to be arrested, which is, which is outstanding. Uh, you, you seem okay with this. You're more calm than the last few days, for sure. <laughs> I mean, you know, yeah, it's, um, I'm pleased to see nobody being arrested so far. Okay. I think that's the biggest thing for me. Um, you know, when you have a community like this, it was really, really sad yesterday to see folks broken up um, and some folks crying as they left the area, leaving because they didn't want to have to give up their pets or, uh, you know, their belongings and that sort of thing. So uh, I feel good about the fact that folks are not being split up, it looks like, um, which makes it a lot easier for folks to regroup and figure out next steps. Those who left yesterday, do you know where they went? Yeah, yeah. Uh, a number of folks went over to uh, the mission area, um, which I'm, I'm haven't left here. I don't know if it's packed out a little bit more now. That's a lot um, between the mission and ministry with yep, community. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> and then some folks just, you know, left and uh, said they didn't know where they were going to go. Uh, they were just going to leave and see what happens and maybe come back. And then I know uh, some folks went to another side of town and sort of... Um, up over that that way somewhere so okay. what's yeah. your response to the city manager's statement yesterday we're gonna take another walk through and most of this area was empty this morning Shall be charged with a misdemeanor and may be arrested. 
All persons who do not leave this zone or who enter the zone will be arrested. You're not scaring us! City Commissioner Sharon said, I want to have you people over here being arrested. Go ahead and arrest me at one of the uh, city commissioners. I'm sure it's not going to be a good night. You see good tonight? You got bread off the street. I think the games that the city is playing right now with the lives of very real people are absolutely absurd. Uh, I, you know, I think honestly we ought to be ashamed. Um, I have never been so embarrassed uh, to be a part of this city administration. Uh, but you know, if we're taking other folks, we're taking me. So you're going with him. I'm going with him. Yep. So handcuffed or not? Because I'm not handcuffed. Handcuffed or not? My name is Rudolph yep. Mendez the third. He told me uh, I was not subject to arrest because media and city commissioners are allowed to stay in the park while it's a police zone. So um, I think I think it's a uh, it's an obvious tactic, it's an obvious strategy to try and break up uh, my support uh, and solidarity with this with these folks. But I have made a promise; um, they don't go without me. So. We'll see what they do. Are people going to be let out of jail later? What does this process look like once they get taken well, to jail? Yeah, I mean, I think it's up to the police department and the court system. Um, I imagine folks will likely, uh, because of the time of, day, time of day, go before a judge 
uh, today and then we'll figure out what bail looks like and we've got a bail fund and legal support ready to go um, and so uh, so we'll wait to see what happens. Where did yeah. the money for the bail fund come from? Uh, donations from the community. Uh, I cannot stress uh, enough that the community supports this encampment out here although we might have a few uh, uh, wealthy uh, business owners downtown and a few folks who are uh, extra privileged um, who want us gone. The vast majority of our community supports us. Are you just going to stay connected to him, literally? I am. I am. Okay. Because that's your commitment, Tan, and that's what you've been I made saying a since day one. I made a commitment, and I will not break it. This is as far as I'm being allowed to go. Shannon is blocking the police vehicle now. Trying to be arrested at this point. Let's removing Shannon now from the hood of the vehicle and backing up. If we cross this police barrier, I don't believe we're going to be let back into the park, but at this point, I think we should probably get closer and try to see what's happening. South Street now. Cuts are going on now. Commissioner Shannon Seitznerin is being arrested now. Likely for obstructing police, but we're not entirely sure what. They refused to arrest her at first for the homeless ordinance, right. even though they were arresting other people. So she stood in front of the van that was taking people away, and now she's being arrested. 
Yeah. She had to fucking fight them to get arrested because they only arrest rich, they only arrest poor people. shocked that maybe you thought you were supposed to have a court day today, but what happened there? I'm not really sure. Uh, uh, upon uh, bonding out of the Kalamazoo County Jail, I was given paperwork to appear here with everybody else uh, on October 23rd, or I mean, sorry, wrong day, uh, <laughs> on October 3rd uh, at 8.30 a.m. Uh, I came in, I filled out my sheet, I turned it in, and I was not called. Um, the clerk said something about my case being declined or something like that and told me to just watch the mail. Um, I raised my hand at the end just because I wanted to check in and make sure that was okay with the judge or that was true. Uh, and she um, uh, walked away. What are your thoughts on this? I mean, I think it's more of the same. I think it's more of what happened in Bronson Park uh, when folks were arrested and, and I was not and now folks are being charged, and I am not. Um, so yeah, I think, it's, I think it's what we've seen already. How do you and feel, now, do you think you should be charged? Do you think? Absolutely, absolutely. Why? Um, yeah, why do you think you should be Because folks are in there uh, being charged with camping, being charged with violating the police line, and I was with them the whole time. So there's no way that it shouldn't apply to me. Can you clarify, we know that the county prosecutor dropped charges, but now it's in the city. Can you really clarify that process for us? Yeah, I'm not really sure. I'm not well versed in that, but my understanding is that the county prosecutor declined all everybody's charges, declined to prosecute, and so the city attorney had to take them up as a city ordinance, and now he's uh, responsible for prosecuting all of the charges. Can I talk about the energy in there? I know there's a lot of mixed emotions. What were your thoughts on that today? <sighs> um, it's a lot of nervous energy. Um, a lot of laughter, um, so it was positive, but I think you could tell that people were a little bit tense um, and, and a little bit uh, at times confused. Um, but I mean, overall, I think it was positive. Uh, lots of folks were there with us in solidarity, uh, which is to me a beautiful thing. So uh, it was okay. And you could hear some like banter kind of going on back and forth between the people that were waiting for their arraignments, and I mean, you could hear people saying, you know, the people in badges are against us and all that kind of stuff. What were your feelings about that? Uh, I, I don't know. Um, I, think, I, think, I think when your very existence, when you're homeless and your very existence uh, is criminal or seen as illegal, uh, I think it's easy to feel as if any officer of the court is against you. 
So when you said uh, confusion, do you mean confusion with the way the criminal process, the court process works? Is that what you're talking about? Um, yeah, I mean, there was a lot. Maybe it's not that. I think, I think folks were a little bit confused when, um, you know, uh, char or people started getting split up for pretrial. So half the group will come on October 23rd and half the group will come on November 5th. And there were some folks who were wondering about that. Um, and then I know there was some uh, confusion or uh, questioning of why we had to uh, sign on advice of rights form. Um, yeah, so I, th I think it was little stuff like that. So moving forward ahead of these uh, pre-trial conferences, are we gonna have some discussions with folks to maybe bring some clarity before they go back to court? Uh, yeah, I hope so. Um, we do have an attorney, um, and I, my, my hope is that her uh, that she will be here for the pre-trial. Um, we're also speaking with a number of other attorneys and trying to uh, build a legal team, because uh, as, as I'm sure you can imagine, this is a big case with a lot of people, a lot of moving parts, um, and there's also, been, uh, there's also a lawsuit uh, being uh, filed, so there's a lot of a lot of work involved, so we're looking for a team to, to help out. Okay. How does this affect those, uh, just moving forward and getting to the, the short-term and long-term goals, because it, you know, there just seems to be so much hope that one Friday when the work groups are set, and now yeah. this kind of breaks it, you know? Yeah. How does this affect things moving forward? Uh, I mean, I think it makes the process slower. Um, you know, you know, I was at that meeting, and it was very hopeful at the end. Um, Felt like we were moving in a good direction. Felt like uh, you know we were going to see some progress, and so to have everybody then arrested less than a minute later, um, I think it definitely affected morale. Um, but folks are staying positive and determined, um, and so the work group meetings are still happening. Happening. Uh, we had one yesterday. There's two more tomorrow and one on Friday. Um, we had some issues with communication as those things were not being communicated to the uh, encampment members, and so we had to uh, clear that up on Monday. Um, so they're involved, but it's still it's it's too slow of a process for people. And like you've been saying, and everyone else has been saying, the fight is well. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. We will we will be taking this all the way to the end. And once again, I mean, if you can just say you think everyone should be charged and why that is. Yeah, everybody should be charged. Uh, we were all in the same place um, at the same time. It is no secret that I was camping with uh, other members of the encampment, so at the very least I should be charged with camping. Uh, and we also know that I was charged, arrested, uh, taken into Kalamazoo County Jail, had a bond to post, and upon release was ordered to appear with everybody else. And yet I'm here, uh, and, and there's, there has been no court action and no response from the judge. Remind us again the charges for me. Yes. Uh, misdemeanor, no. Attempting, <laughs> resisting, uh, an attempted resisting and obstructing. And just lastly, your thoughts to out of the park that the park where you guys camped is still taken off. I, I, and it's been like I think like just your thoughts on that. I'm still uh, really disappointed frustrated at the way that the city has chosen to demonize um, folks in the park uh, and and the lengths they went to to block off the whole park, bring in bleach and do dirt as if being homeless is dirty. Um, there were some false narratives that there were needles lying all over the place, that there were bottles of urine everywhere, feces spread everywhere. And as you all know, because you were there, uh, that's not true. Um, and so I, I think the city has, has uh, uh, forced a false narrative in order to justify what they're doing, because they know this is wrong. Well, thank you, I've got it. Anything else you want to say?